Beloved, the Word of God tells us to be not ignorant. Ignorant of what? Ignorant of the things of the living God. Do you realize that Satan could care less about you knowing what God says in his word? And he is the one who is keeping you actually from the word of God. Now you might believe in yourself that you're keeping yourself from God's word. That you're keeping yourself from studying God's word or even caring about what God is saying today in the earth. You may think that it is you. But I want you to know today that it is not you. That, it, that there is a spiritual power that you cannot see that is keeping you from God's word. Because Satan desire for you to be ignorant of the things of God. Look what the word of God says in Second Peter, the third chapter <clears throat> and the fifth verse. And he's speaking about those scoffers in the last days who are denying that Jesus Christ will return. He says, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing or emerging out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that when was being overflowed with water perished. Paul, Peter's writing here saying that the earth was destroyed at one time. God brought the earth or the uh, dry ground out of the water in the very beginning. But then he was also the one that allowed the flood that destroyed all the people except eight souls that went into the ark. And dearly beloved, we are living in a day and a time that there are a crying out for us to make ourselves ready because there is a great ark that God has opened up for you and I who are believers and trust in God. And I want you to know that it's the steadfastness in God that really matters. It's not those who began the race and began it quickly, but it's for those who endure to the very end. And I want to say that most likely in Noah's day when he preached the word, the word of God said for 120 years, he was a preacher of righteousness. I believe that in the very beginning there were those who were excited about what Noah was doing and what he was saying. And maybe had even talked about getting on that ark. But as time passed and as 120 years went by, People began to reject him. They began to call him a heretic. They began to call him an old fool. And what was he talking about? But the Bible says that when Noah entered that ark and he closed that door, then judgment came upon the world. And all the scoffers, the unbelievers, and those who believed but didn't trust any longer and their faith had faded away they were destroyed by the flood and P Peter is writing here and saying the same way that it was God kept them for judgment look what he says but the heavens and earth which are now the same heaven and earth by the same word are kept in store by God. God is keeping this earth in store, reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. He said, this time it will be fire. But before that fire comes, God will elevate and take his children from this earth. Before his fire destroyed the ungodly men or the men and women who no longer stand in faith, but rather they are trusting the words of the scoffer and they are not pre uh, preparation, preparing themselves for the Lord's coming. And the word says also in the eighth verse, but beloved, look at his word, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Glory be to the living God. Be not ignorant of this one thing, 
that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Dearly beloved, our Lord is going to return. But that's not really the question. The question is, are you going to be ready? Dearly beloved, be not ignorant of our Lord's return because He will. And my prayer is that is in this year, 2016.